Hi guys! So this weekend I'm going to get my Toy Poodle Service Dog Prospect puppy <laughs> and I thought I'd show you the bag that I'll be bringing with me to go and get her. She is in Arkansas, I'm in Washington, so I'm flying to go get her. Um, all I'm bringing is this bag. I'm not going to bring any other carry-on or check bag because that's just more than I want to handle for just one night being there. I'm flying out Saturday, coming back Sunday, so I'm just going to bring my backpack. So the only thing I have in here so far is her kennel. It's a Sherpa kennel. It's from Petco. It's airline approved, but I'll just fold it up and put it in here. I would take it out and show you, but that's a lot of work. So that's the only thing I have in there so far. The next thing I'm going to put in is puppy pads. Super important to have some puppy pads. Um, I'm going to be putting some in her kennel. I'll probably have some in the hotel room that we're staying at for one night. You know, they're just good to have. I'm not going to be puppy pad training her, but for just in case and temporary needs, they're great. We'll just put that there. Next thing I have is these gentle wipes. Um, specifically says for puppies. I'm not a huge fan of this actually because I didn't realize it was scented when I first bought them but I already opened them so it'll have to do but they are scented just so you know I would probably go back and get or even from Amazon or something unscented wipes especially if I'm going to use them on the plane. I don't want to disrupt anybody else but these are for just in case. She goes, has an accident, I need to wipe something up, she throws up, whatever. These are what that's going to be used for. Put those right here next to the puppy pads. Next I have this um, to-go dog food bowl. I just got a little one because she's a toy poodle, so she's a little. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has a little clip, but... I'm going to be putting it in this front pocket. I don't really like things dangling off. Next, very important, poop bags. I got these cute ones. They came in a huge pack of like 50 rolls, but poop bags are important. Self-explanatory. Next thing I have that I never thought I would ever buy, puppy diapers. I have a lot of anxiety, so I'm really worried about her going potty on the plane or in places that she's not supposed to go potty, especially because she's so young and never exposed to anything like this. So I'm going to be putting diapers on her to make sure she doesn't go potty in places she's not supposed to. And it'd be easy to clean up. And I put Ziploc bags in here just in case she does use them. I can dispose of them in there if I run out. I can dispose of them in the poop bags. I just like the Ziploc bag idea because it makes it so that the smell is really sealed in there. Next thing I have is just extra Ziploc bags for who knows what. I don't know how the breeder is giving me the bag of dog food for maybe puppy pads if they're, they've been used, anything like that. I have these just in case I need them. Hopefully, I won't need a lot of this stuff. Next thing I have is like her personal belongings. I have a teether toy, a collar, leash. That's also part of the teether toy and a rope. I just brought a few because I don't really think she'll need many toys for just one night. This section. The next thing we have is some bones and shoes. These ones are, you know, I don't even remember what they're called, but these bully sticks are the no smell ones. So I really made sure to get ones that don't smell bad once they've been chewed on or once they get wet because 
I would not want a dog chewing on something smelly when I was on the plane with it for five hours. So that's everything that I'm packing in this bag. I'm going to make another video on how I set up her puppy area and all the things that I purchased to get ready for her. So yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.